Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna update your Mac. So let's get started. On the top left hand side of our screen, we're gonna see the Apple logo. The Apple logo is right here. And then our third option should say the App Store. Now, way back in the day, we used to do all our updates under the App Store. Right now, however, for system updates, we're gonna go into system preferences. That's the second option. So let's just go right into there. Once that pops up, we're gonna see software update on the bottom left hand side. So right here, software update tap on it and then you should reload and you should see something like this now if this is not popping up maybe nothing's popping up for you and you are already in mac os monterey then what you should do is just click on advance so that's on the bottom right hand side click on advance and then from here just do this take the check mark off i'm gonna unlock press ok this will reload and then you're gonna see the update so as long as you refresh this you should be able to see an update. Again, if that didn't work, just go into advance again, put this on. Don't click on any of this, even this right here. Don't click there. Just click on OK. And there we go. You should be able to refresh this. If this doesn't work, just restart your Mac. But most of you will not have to do that. Just do this, refresh, and you should be fine. From there, we can just click on more info just to see how big this is. And it's fairly small. It's only 1.34 gigs. Let me just zoom out a little bit. And this will tell you that you need a restart. Every single system update will require a restart. We can just go on and install now, or we can just close that. And just on the top right hand side, we're going to see update now. Now, before we do that, I do suggest making a backup of the entire Mac using Time Machine. And that's just in case something goes wrong. But anyways, Time Machine is something built into your Mac. I have a separate video about that. Make sure to check that out. But for now, we're just going to click on Update now. Once you do that, you should see something like this. Click on a green bottom right hand side and the downloading will begin. Now, right after the download, yes, it's going to prompt you to restart your Mac. However, at this point, you could just technically leave your Mac to be. Maybe a gig for some of you will take hours. So just leave your Mac. It's going to restart by itself, install everything by itself. You should be fine for others. If this will take only six minutes or so, you can install it yourself just by clicking on restart and you're done. All we have to do is just wait those six minutes. Well, that's for me right now because I'm doing other stuff online, so it's kind of slow. However, if you would like your internet speed to be a little bit better on your Mac, usually it's recommended to hook it up directly to your router using ethernet cable, and that will make your download go faster. However, if you're really close to your router anyways, over Wi-Fi, you should be okay. And by the way, I'm just using Wi-Fi. I'm not using Ethernet cable because I'm pretty far away from it. So once this is done, we're just going to see a black screen Apple logo. It's going to restart and we're going to be done with the update. All right. So once it's done downloading, you will see on the top of your screen, on the top right hand corner, a countdown. And it's going to restart by itself. Or you can go ahead and restart it yourself just by pressing right here on the top right hand corner, restart now. All right, so once the Mac restarts, we're just going to see an Apple logo, a loading bar, and then all we have to do is just wait. After about 30 minutes or so, you should see everything popping back up your Mac, which includes this, telling you that your software is all up to date. And anyways, that would be it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.